Salam. In this video, we are going to make this map. This map shows the stream order of the Nile River based on hydrosheds.org. To make this map, we will use ArcMap and the Blender. So let's get started. Okay, first we have to download the data. So we go to hydrosheds.org. Explore the data. We download the basin. We choose Africa. Download. And now we go to Hydro Rivers. And here we choose Africa. Okay, here we have the two folders. We have to extract the file. The second one. Okay, now I will change the name. Now we go to arc map. Okay, we import the rivers of Africa. And now we import the watershed. I will choose the second one. Okay, now we have to select the Nile Basin. So we go to select features and we select our basin. Then we go to selection and create layer from selected features we can now delete the africa basins okay now we have to clip the rivers on the nile basin so we go to geoprocessing clip we choose the rivers then the basin and we click ok Okay, now as you can see, we have the river network of Nile Basin. We can delete this and this. Now we go to Symbology. Categories. And we choose Order Streller. We turn this off and we add all values. As you can see, we have eight orders here for the Nile Basin. Okay, now we have to export these orders from ArcMap as shape files. Then we have to import them to Blender. To do that with a simple way, we go to Split by Attribute. and we put the network which field we want to split it's the order streller so we choose our file okay i already created this folder i will put my orders here we press ok okay here we have the folder if we open the folder we will see the eight orders now we go to blender we delete the cube and the light now we have to import the orders okay to import geographic data to blender we have to use blender gis if you want to know how to download and fix blender gis 
watch this short on my channel it will take only one minute okay now we go to blender gis import shape file okay here here we have our folder we open the folder as you can see here we have the eight orders i will import them first the order eight Order 7, 6, 5, 4, and the last order I want to import is the order number 3. Okay, first we have to convert all these orders to curve so we select all of them we press right click and convert to curve okay now we have to give thickness to each order we start with the order number eight we go to data geometry and depth i will give it 0 0.095 for the order number 7, I will give it 0 0.045 Number 6, 0 0.03 Number 5, 0 0.015 Number 4, 0 0.002 And the same for the number 3, 0 0.002 okay now i will give a color for each order we start with the order number eight we go to we go to material new material okay this time i will use the hex codes to add the color so for the number eight i will go to base color and choose hex and i will give it to see 6C FF and I will give the same for the order number 7 number 6 I will give it 0039 FF number five zero one zero zero B three number four one seven one seven F C and the same for the order number three okay now we gave the color to see the color we go to viewport shading now we go to viewport shading we go to word properties and we make the color black now we have to add light so we press add light area press s and sweep to enlarge the light we go to data and we increase the power to 50,000 we make it bigger now we go to render we turn on the bloom and we make the intensity 0.1 Okay, as you can see now, we have done the basin. 
now we have to add the African countries so to do that we go to arc map okay here we have the world map you can download it from the web okay now we have to select only the African content so we go to select okay now we select Africa we can press shift and unselect these countries okay now we go to selection create layer from selected features this is our layer we have to export this layer as a shape file data export data i will put it here save okay now we back to blender gis import shape file we go to africa and we import africa we convert africa to curve we give it thickness 0 0.008 and we go to material here i will choose emission instead of principal pstf and i will give it the red color and we we'll make the intensity or the strength 0 0.9 as you can see it appeared okay now i will make the legend so i press shift a and choose curve and choose the first option okay the first one i will give it thickness the same of the eighth order 0 0.095 so i select the curve and i give it 0 0.095 and I will give it the same color of the 8th order so I go to material of the 8th order and I copy by ctrl c the hex color and I back to the curve I add a new material and I paste the hex color ctrl v okay now I will repeat the same process for the other orders so I can copy this curve paste again okay now I move to the second curve I will give it the same thickness of the seventh order which is 0 0.045 and I will give it the same color so we go to the seven so we go to the order number seven and we copy the hex color and we back and we give it to the second curve control v the same for the curve number three number six we have 0 0.03 so we give it the same thickness and the same color control c Control V. Number five has thickness equal to zero point zero one five. We give it to this curve. And the same hex color.
and the same hex color we copy by ctrl c and we give it for the curve ctrl v okay number four and the number three have the same thickness so which is equal to 0 0.002 i will give it for the last curve and i will give it the same color copy paste okay now we finish the legend we have to add the number of the orders so we go to add text here it is our text okay we go to edit mode and we write 8 and we put it here we copy the number 8 many times now we have to change the number we will go to edit mode 7 you can switch between object and edit mode by pressing tab okay now we have to add the title but before to do this we have to put our camera so we press ctrl alt 0 we go to output properties we change we change the size of the camera okay to control our camera we go to view camera to view and we press shift and we move our map we can zoom in okay now we add the title so we can copy this text we put it here and we go to edit mode We make it smaller. We copy again. Edit mode. And we make it bigger. okay now we can export the map but before to do this we have to go to render and increase the render sampling to 1000 it will give high resolution now we go to render and render image. okay the render is done you can save it in your device finally this type of videos take too much time and effort so if you found this video useful please like and subscribe for more and thank you for watching.